Hello everybody. So today we are on third cut silage. Um, so a little bit different to what we did in second cut. And we have brought in the local contractor to mow, uh, pick up with a wagon and clamp this third cut. And we are into the middle of September now. And not only is day length getting short, um, our days now are very short because we are busy cows and calves, and milking heifers, feeding calves at both ends of the day. We just wouldn't have time to clear this block of about 60 acres uh, in the weather, weather window we have available. So we have brought in a mower with an auto swather or a grouper. So he is mowing um, a triple mower, putting all the, the full width of the mower into the swath. The wagon is then just following, taking it back to the clamp. So there's no raking. And this has been mown this morning and is being picked up straight away or as quick as the wagon can get to it. So this has been down probably an hour and a half now. Um, and it's drying quite nicely on the top. I will see into the center of the swath, it's still gonna be damp, but had we have cut it yesterday and raked it today, it would be too dry. Uh, not so much this field, but the, most of the rest of it is permanent pasture. And like we said in second cut, it dries out very, very quickly. But this is the fourth season for this field now, so it, it's not permanent pasture, it's uh, kind of a more modern grass and it doesn't dry as quick. Um, but there isn't as much, but there's more permanent than there is of this. Uh, and that joys very quickly if we're not careful. Uh, so in first cut, we try very hard to spread our grass and get it dry. Uh, second and third cuts, we try very hard to keep it moist or keep it damp. So this was cut, second cut, or was it around the 20th, 18th, 20th of July, something like that. And since then, we have had a good lot of rain. And as you can tell, got a good third cut here but very pleasing um, probably the best third cut we have had for a number of years anyway that's enough waffling let's get on and see some machines
So this is now the permanent pasture. As you can tell, it's drying a lot faster. And, but this is nice, it's a nice leafy crop. Okay, so it hasn't gone to seed. As you can tell, plenty of leaf in there. And this is what grows dry very quickly if we're not careful. quicker than we thought we have had to strip off uh, the, the first cut clamp so we're gonna have to bring a load into here as well so it's good to have more than we were expecting So we have an unexpected development. As you can tell, we have the wrapper on and we have almost uh, an untouched field. So this is where we filmed the mowing um, and this is what we reseeded in the spring. Um, coming over to right on the joint, this is what we reseeded four years ago. Anyway, so very uh, fortunate problem to have this field. Uh, except for one load wouldn't fit in the clamp so he took one load away um, and it was getting late at night and a bit more might have gone in but it was dark you know our clamp isn't the biggest it's not the best place to be in the dark and there was no way all of this was going to fit so we decided um, end the day there we would bail this and um, we could have got a bit more onto the top of the first cut clamp um, but the problem is, as you know from a previous video, and we are now feeding the cows, so we need to maintain that face. Okay, so we couldn't build another ramp to get up on top. So that is why there's a limit to what we can put up on the top by going up round over the small clamp. So decision was made, we're going to bale it. So we are starting baling the older lay first, um, because that is drier anyway. Let's just go and see what we've got. 
Uh, we have had a very small amount of rain this morning, but it's finished. For, hopefully, it's finished for now, um, which is why we're on to this. We're bailing the drier stuff first. I just give that greener behind a bit more of a chance just for that little bit of drizzle to blow off. As you can see, sh the regrowth is shooting back already. Middle of September now, and grass is still growing very well. Right, so this is, yeah. So that's nice enough. Very slightly damp on the top, still green underneath. But this will make some nice bales. And there we go, look, here's the first one out. So nice, solid bales, good quality stuff, and bits of clover in it. So that's all good news. Right, let's drop off our spare wrap and get going. Right, so let's make a start. Right, so we are now on to the reseed. Okay, so that bit of rain we've had, it's blown away now, blown off now, nice and dry on the top. Um, but still green underneath, so that's fine. Um, these big swaths are never gonna dry out in the bottom, but they're not, they're not wet. Um, they're, you know, they're just the, the moisture in the grass. So this, um, so these, this was the last bit to be cut. It was about one, one o'clock-ish. Um, when he when he mowed this, when I filmed with the drone of the mower, um, so all the moisture and you know the dew was all gone out by then. It was nice sunshine, so we've got nice dry on the top, bit of moisture underneath. So that should make some very nice bales.
So there we go, that is the last one tipped off. How many did we do? We've got 54 bales. So that's going to be a nice amount. Um, we do still have the final 50 acres of second cut where the hay came from to go. I was going to film that because that will be baled and wrapped, but now we have done baling and wrapping in this video, I probably won't need to. So there we go. I will say thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.